All right guys, so before I start this video, I just wanted to say, if you guys could please take a second to smash that like button down below. If this video gets 1500 likes, I will record a live cop video of me trying to acquire some of the goods. Last week I set the goal of 1500 likes. It did end up getting 1500 likes, but it got it like a day after the drop. So I wasn't obviously able to travel back in time and record it. So last week I did not do a live cop. Like I said, if you would like to see a live cop video, smash that like button and if it gets 1500 i will gladly make one anyways let's get to the video oh and by the way sorry for posting this late but obviously like you know the jobless came out like midday so i just had to get started anyways let's get started let's pause that and get it started baby what is up youtube welcome to the start and welcome to yet another video today we are going to discuss one of my favorite pieces, don't know why I put my hood on. I really had two titles in mind, either my favorite item from the Supreme Fall Winter 2019 season or something about my favorite item, or this collaboration is so disappointing. I think I'm leaning towards this is my favorite item because I honestly think this collaboration is not that bad, but we will get into that in just a moment. Some of the things that we have to discuss, of course, the bandana fleece, the Ben Davis collaboration, and we got to talk about this Princess Mononoke inspired looking art right here. I'm not quite sure which one came first, but when I see this, of course, I just think Princess Mononoke. As you guys may have noticed, I'm currently sitting on a different chair because I had to set up my box logos, uh, which if you guys did not watch the box logo collection video featuring my brother Boone, definitely go check that out. I'm gonna leave that video linked down in the description below. But I had to set this up because I did run a raffle for one of the box logos. I ran a raffle for some uh, other pieces, including a CDG box logo. I have to ship all that stuff out today. If you guys want to join in and show love, definitely check out Robitussin Poppy where I resell a lot of my Supreme goods and if you guys would like to join in and potentially have the chance to win some of these items for the low then of course join Robitussin Poppy turn on post notifications and story notifications and the moment you see a month and story go up DM me and while you're following that Instagram you already know make sure you go follow the most fire Instagram in the game the star life t-h-e s-t-a-r-r-l-i-f-e both those will be on the screen and the description down below I just posted a picture with box logo bear but it's not what you think of just me matching the hoodie just if you haven't peeped it go check it out please no notifications today we got to talk about this bandana fleece yes that is right supreme is dropping one of the best items this season the bandana fleece it is reversible i know that some people have complained about the inside being plain black but honestly i kind of like i like that you can gang bang on the outside but then when you walk into a rival neighborhood you can flip that bitch inside out become an undercover gang bang and spy walk up to a motherfucker and be like yo what's good i'm banging on you. I'm banging creme de la creme for life. Uh, if you guys have been following the channel for quite some time, you guys know I love these paisley patterns. In fact, the hoodie that I'm wearing right now, you can't see because this freaking chair, but anyways, has paisley on the back. I think these paisley patterns are implemented very well from brands like Born and Raised, Wicked Thoughts, both really dope streetwear brands, and I have always liked this paisley stuff that Supreme has done as well, including their North Face collaborations, which is why I have a red and maybe another color. I'll talk about that later. But yes, I love this piece. I think this piece is absolutely amazing. It comes in four different colorways, folk, blood, crip, and creme de la creme. You already know I'm going for the creme de la creme. I know right now some guy listening to Lil Xan saying free Tay K is commenting like, bro, that's not crip colorway. That's not crip blue, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I get it. I know it's a joke. Relax. I know you are a gangster. We get it. Just, just chill, brother. Chill. It's a now, as a lot of you guys may know, the first thing that was announced this week was the collaboration Monday morning, which is the Ben Davis collaboration. Ben Davis is a workwear brand, I believe based out of San Francisco. I know it is based out of the Bay Area, or at least it's very popular in the Bay Area. I love workwear, I love Carhartt, I love Dickies, I like Ben Davis. For those of you guys that do not know, the majority of my uncles are Hispanic, and I grew up watching my uncles wear things like Dickies, uh, brands that are similar to Ben Davis. Ben Davis was never really like the main brand because it's not nearly as popular up here in Washington as it is in the Bay. But that being said, I still got a lot of respect for this. Uh, I, I think this collaboration is dope. I do think there are some items that could have been a little bit better, but honestly, this orange one with like the pinstripes, at first I didn't even realize this was a pinstripe until I looked up close, but I love the vertical stripes. I think this piece is sick and I might actually end up going for this piece for the personal. I do not know if I'm gonna go for the pant or the jacket, but they are releasing both of those items. I also kind of like the pink jacket with the black pockets. I'm not a big fan of the pocket 
color blocking, but still, I do not think this is that bad of a collaboration. I think it's getting a lot of undeserved hate. The more I think about it, the more I talk about it, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going for those pantalones because you guys already know my trouser game is crazy. I'm not a big fan of half zip shirts, so I'm definitely gonna pass on that piece. I am kind of a fan of overalls a little bit. I just wore some overalls and I, I just feel like I, I was fitting in with the country folk, even though my overalls were like a collaboration between Carhartt and Brain Dead, so it was kind of like some streetwear shit. But regardless, um, I, I think I'm just gonna get the pants. I'm not really worried about the overalls. I'm not gonna lie, wearing overalls makes me feel a little bit out of my comfort zone. It just feels kind of odd. I feel like I should be driving a tractor or like hooking up with my sister. And then of course, last but not least, they are dropping some beanies. Now these are a definite pass because they're not loose cage beanies. They're gonna fit like dog shit. So why would you want to wear dog shit on your dome piece? I have no idea. Moving into some of the accessories, we got the ping pong paddle. You already know this is a necessity for your boy. This piece is so fucking fire. I already have the bait ping pong paddle. So you know I'm gonna have to compare the two. That's like, that's absolutely mandatory. This is a collaboration with Butterfly, which is a very popular ping pong brand. It's a very like prestigious brand in ping pong. I'm not too familiar with the brand or the like history behind the brand. I just know that their ping pong tables are expensive. And if you Google them right now, they have a really cool black paddle that's $350 with somewhat, with something that from far away looks like a Ferrari logo. It, literally seems like the Ferrari of ping pong. But I think this is super dope. And of course, if you wanna flex, you wanna have some friends over for beer pong and drink underage, then you can of course flex with the beer pong balls that got the box logo on them. You will impress every single penis in the building. Every 19 to 20 year old individual in your party will probably get a little bit of a chub seeing that box logo as it flies across the table and lands in their cup. Next up, you got the Supreme Post-it signature thing, which is a complete pointless accessory but still kind of cool for some odd reason i don't know this is like similar to the band-aids in my opinion but shout out to supreme for making office supplies and supporting the school youth uh yeah this uh, not even just actually supporting the school youth because most students don't need this actually but yeah basically these are just little arrows that you use when you're uh filling out contracts or you know you're signing like your first porn deal or you know your your little music deal or whatever you can just maybe when you uh get like some real estate, use those Supreme bricks to build a Supreme house you dig, you can use that contract. You can put all those little Supreme stickers to let individuals know where they need to sign or even let yourself know when it's, I don't know when you're gonna use it. So you're not, you're not gonna use it. You're gonna put it somewhere. So yeah, this is actually a waste of money, but they're eight fucking dollars. So who the hell cares? If you really think about it, that's the price of four monster pipeline punches. It's the price of maybe like four king size uh, Butterfingers, it's not really that bad of a price, um, but you could just not buy these and save yourself eight bucks. Then you have these teeny tiny flashlight keychains. You got it in the Supreme Red colorway and the iridescent or oil spill colorway. It's got that chameleon paint job, just straight busting on them, looking like a car straight out of Texas. I think these are a pretty cool accessory, but for 50 fucking dollars, you're smoking absolute crack. I would rather never see light again than pay $50 for this weak ass keychain, even though I'll probably end up buying it to resell. Uh, but yeah, $50, that's absolutely absurd for a keychain flashlight. Then you got the Chrome logo. I think this is filthy. I like a lot of logos when brands do this stuff, but I feel like these kinds of logo flips aren't super popular. Anytime you see like uh, Chrome or Bling or anything like that where it's like metallicized, is that even a word? Anyways, when you see that, I feel like for the most part, it's not popular. Like, you know, you think about the Bling box, I was gonna point to my couch, but my uh, blanket and uh, box logo towel that's normally up there is not. Uh, it's just not as popular. So I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to do. It does seem like it has quite a few upvotes. That being said, if you guys want to vote on these pieces and let me know what you guys think of all these pieces, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram will be on the screen in the description below, like I said earlier. I'm going to be posting some polls of all these items on my story. So make sure you join on the polls and let me know what you guys think and let the people know what is fire and what is trash. Now, they are also dropping a Chanel Arc logo short sleeve top. I would have really liked to see a white one with like different color Chanel patches. Uh, I don't know if these are just like, uh, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be stitched in, but yeah, it's just tonal, so I'm not really the biggest fan. The text rib sweatpant and hoodie. Now, I know a lot of people probably think I like this, which I do, and you would be right. Uh, that being said, I'm not gonna go for it. Um, I mean, really, the only time that you're even gonna like notice this while you're wearing is I guess if you're walking very briskly, or if maybe like someone is like, yo, you smell like BO, and you're like, do I? And then bam, they're gonna see that fucking Supreme branding, and you're gonna straight flex on them, and they ain't gonna smell no BO no more because they're not gonna smell broke. They're gonna smell nothing but money. Now the sweatpants are also pretty fire, but um, I'm probably not gonna acquire them. Well, fire, acquire. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to get those because I have so many fucking pairs of sweatpants that uh, 
yeah, I just don't care about getting these. You have the Breed Crew Neck. I'm not quite sure if this is a logo flip. If you guys know the history behind this piece, let me know. Uh, but basically, it's a pass for me. You have the New Era Script Cuff uh, pom pom beanie. Honestly, if I was living in 2008 listening to Wiz Khalifa wearing cargo shorts and some Chuck Taylors, this would probably be a cop for me. That being said, it's definitely not because it's not 2008, it's 2019. That was over a decade ago. So please let it go, Supreme. Stop making these. This is not the vibe. Um, but this would have been perfect for that era. So maybe what I'll do is I'll cop a DeLorean, buy this, wear it, and then go back to 2008 genius while i'm talking about shitty headgear we might as well talk about this virgin mary's hat this thing is garbage you guys already knew i wasn't gonna like this that being said you guys might be surprised that your boy actually might cop a hat this week the classic corduroy whatever the fuck kind of hat this is it looks like a buckle back so that's kind of a disappointment i wish it wasn't that but regardless i love these colors i like that vomit green color like there's nothing better than looking like some uh drunk shorty just like vomited all over your dome piece i do like that vintage colorway but honestly i like that white with the brown i just think it's busting on them and it looks so freaking good it's kind of like a looks like somewhat of an off-white not a true white but that could just be due to the corduroy fabric um you have the heart dyed short sleeve top this is probably one of the worst pieces to drop all season it's terrible in black it's terrible in the colors why is this a thing uh i'm like i'm genuinely curious if anyone likes this if you do let me know why um maybe you know some history behind this piece but this thing is disgusting the fact that almost the entire ben davis collaboration has more downvotes than this piece is absolutely disappointing and on top of that even this rita ackerman slash what i like to call princess mononoke pieces uh the jacket at least has more downvotes than this as well i don't know what y'all are smoking but yes they are dropping the little jacket which is going to be too much money what's what's, what's retail on this 228 dollars it's actually not that bad um but yeah they're dropping this and they're dropping the hoodie i'm gonna pass on both of them uh now if it was a princess mononoke piece then I might kind of cop it because that would be fire. And then last and actually not least, we have the like denim skate pant and the uh, long sleeve denim shirt. I feel like a lot of people would actually expect me not to like this because I'm not a big fan of repeated logos. But the difference is, is I normally don't like it when it's the same shitty logo repeated a thousand times. But that's not always the case because I like the FTP all over print hoodies. I like the Lord knows all over print hoodies. And there are examples of pieces that I have liked where I think the font or just overall like the text looks good. Like the by any means. Okay. Anyways, my battery died. So my bad. But like I said before, if you guys want to see polls of these, make sure you guys go follow me on personal Instagram. Make sure you go follow me on the resale page. And of course, if you want to see a live cop video, make sure you smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life.